haven't heard by now, as early as next week, President Obama is gearing up to announce his 10-part plan for a granting amnesty to what he says will be 4.5 million illegal aliens. It will yet be another show of an executive order from a president who is determined to fundamentally transform the United States. Now, before I bring on my first guest to discuss this, I'd like to show you a clip from the film called They Come to America. Do you think that you're taking jobs away from Americans? I think, yeah. So American guys say, okay, pay thousand for this job. The Spanish guys say, okay, pay me $600 or $500. I think that's bad for us. Why do you feel bad for that? Because he wants to work too. So then why doesn't he do it for $600? So he, he has to pay, he has to pay more money for the tax. Joining me now is the executive director of Numbers USA, Roy Beck. Roy, it's great to see you. I'll tell you, it's sort of sad when illegal immigrants know the impact on American workers and our own president doesn't. The president is threatening executive amnesty that could come uh, as early as next week, Roy. In short, can the Congress stop him? Yes. Uh, Congress has the power. They have the power of the purse. Uh, that's the way the separation of powers works. The, the president is supposed to execute the laws. Uh, if the president's doing things that Congress doesn't want the president to do, the president can just defund them. You know, Roy, uh, well, one thing we know about this president is that he's somewhat stubborn. And I think he sees the fact that his legacy as president is starting to unravel with Obamacare. So I do think he's going to try to push this through. Let's say, for instance, we can't stop him. Let's say we can't defund him. How many people are we talking about giving amnesty to in both the short and the long term? What we're hearing is that it may be about 5 million people that he's thinking about giving amnesty to, work permits. Uh, if those, once those people get the work permits, it's going to be very, very difficult for a future president to take that away from them. If they're allowed to stay permanently, there will almost immediately be probably about 20 million people in their home countries who will line up, who can see through chains of family connections that they can eventually get into America. Doesn't mean they can immediately get in, but that's the way people think. Once their relatives are legal and permanent here, there's a chain migration that goes on forever. So I'm saying at least 20 million lining up. Roy, for, well, I mean, you said something about the next president, and I, I've heard and I've looked into this, that the next president, if he or she had the guts, would be able to repeal or override the president's uh, executive order. But let me get on to something maybe a little more important and more immediate. If they do get the work permits, you're talking about millions of people, what's the impact on American workers right away? Well, right now, illegal aliens, and there, there are about 7 million of the 11 million illegal aliens who are in the workforce in some way or another. But because they don't have legal authorization, they are heavily working off the books on very low-wage jobs. Uh, they are not competing directly, uh, for the most part, for payroll jobs. What this would do is immediately make it possible. million Americans that the Labor Department says want a full-time job and can't find one. 18 million Americans and legal immigrants already here can't find a full-time job. The president is proposing a job that moves them into middle-class status. Roy, you know, ma many, I mean, uh, Senator Rand Paul says that there is as many as six million illegal aliens right now doing construction jobs. Now, I know the construction workers have been one of the hardest hit groups there are. If the permits do come through, these people, these illegal aliens, I mean, are we going to see them just go over every single industry there is? Uh, you know, the UPS drivers, the people working at the Postal Service. I mean, the people watching this at home, do they have to worry about this if they've got a middle-class job? Well, they absolutely have to worry about it. And, you know, while most of these illegal aliens are low-skilled and low-educated, the fact is they, they are at every level. And so there, there will be people, there are, there are medical doctors, 
uh, who will be competing directly with American medical doctors, their tech workers. There are people who are, as you say, are working, they're, they're drivers, they're, they can, they're people in construction, uh, all up and down the line. Uh, there is no job, no occupation in America that won't be affected by this, and there's no person that, in America that is a Roy, Roy, I want to Roy, this. I want to pick and this up with you. Roy, Roy, I want to pick this up with you after the break. Okay. Okay.